Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Hurricane. Welcome to the NFL debut of Andy McKenzie. The new starting quarterback of the Houston Texans is set to make his first appearance. And in his first game, he faces quite the test against the man who almost broke the NFL sack record last year, Justin Houston. On the outside at cornerback, there's Sean Smith and then nose tackle Don Terry Poe. This is a rock solid KC defense. We'll see if Andy is ready after an up and down preseason as the Texans have the football to begin the 2015 season. From the 20, two tight ends, Andy McKenzie under center. An unfamiliar spot for him as he hands off to Arian Foster on first down and the first play of the year goes for a gain of seven. With Kansas City's dominant pass rush, the Texans need to get the run game established. Jalen Strong the motion man and McKenzie back to pass for the first time and he throws complete. It's Jalen Strong for a first down. And on Andy McKenzie's first career drop back, he faced an unblocked Justin Houston. But he stood tall in the pocket and took the hit as he made the first down pass. Back to the ground, Foster breaks the tackle trying to get outside. He breaks another. McKenzie wants to throw a block. And Foster picks up a solid chunk of yardage. Alfred Blue in the game on third down, and McKenzie goes play action. Rolling right, he dumps it off to his tight end. That's Garrett Graham, and it's rule the first down for Houston. On McKenzie's first possession, nearly in KC territory, as Alfred Blue does get the Texans the midfield. But on third and eight, McKenzie will need to make another play. Foster in motion, he's going out wide. Strong and Hopkins line up right. Here comes a five-man rush. McKenzie throws into the ground as he was pressured. That was Don Terry Poe who shoved the center right into the backfield, and McKenzie threw a terrible pass because of it. McKenzie had one good play on his first possession, and here come the Chiefs. Jamal Charles getting the ball, running down the field, and then into the red zone, they settle for a Cairo Santos field goal. 3-0 Kansas City. Now McKenzie's second possession, and there's Don Terry Poe again in the backfield. The strength of Poe earns him a three-yard tackle for loss. A three-wide formation. Now McKenzie back to pass. He fires out wide. That's a catch and a first down for Nate Washington. Sean Smith got too greedy. He wanted to make the big play against the rookie quarterback. He wanted the interception, but instead it's a big catch and run for Nate Washington. And the Texans now have it at the KC 49. Back to the ground, and Houston almost brings down Foster, who muscles forward for a couple, but a flag is down. And it's holding on Houston, so they'll back up to first down and 18. Chiefs in a single high safety look, and here comes the rush as McKenzie flips it to Foster. He's outside in Kansas City territory, and a solid gain that gets back the penalty yardage. But look how close this was to a pick. He just flipped it past Tom Bahali. On second down and eight, now a play action bootleg. McKenzie out right, passing deep and off the mark. Strong had a step against Marcus Peters, but the throw was offline. That puts the Texans at third and eight, and McKenzie goes down. He's sacked for the first time by Don Terry Poe. Once again, the Texans get out to a good start on their possession, but stall. KC went three and out, and the Texans have great field position. From the 40, here's Foster with running room, as this results in a gain of seven. 19 yards so far for Foster. On third and four, McKenzie throws over the middle, and DeAndre Hopkins can't make the catch. Two defenders in the vicinity. The offense isn't doing much besides giving the Chiefs bad field position. This KC drive gets out to a good start, and then Kevin Johnson, the rookie corner, intercepts it. And again, we're at the middle of the field. Arian Foster gains a couple, but can we actually get into field goal range this time? Again, the handoff goes to Arian Foster, who can't get outside, only gains one. Third and seven now for the Texans. Four-man pressure. McKenzie rolls out right. He's got room, and he'll take advantage. First down and more inside the 30, and out of bounds of the 25 after a 22-yard run for Andy McKenzie. That was a combination of man coverage, but no pressure. Arian Foster gets the carry later and nowhere to go. Now his average is dipping below two as the Texans face a third and long. McKenzie needs 14. He passes outside for a first down, hauled in by Garrett Graham. Not an easy catch whatsoever. Here's a second look in front of the safety Ron Parker. 
First and 10 from the 13, the first red zone trip for McKenzie, and he finds Jalen Strong, who's down to the one yard line. Goal line package now on first and goal. Arian Foster up the gut, he breaks the plane. Not by much, but it's still a Houston Texan touchdown. Big pass by McKenzie on that possession, and this drive was set up by the Kevin Johnson interception. 7-0 Texans as we go to the third quarter, and it's Texan football. Two receivers left. Again trying to run, but nowhere to go for Foster. He had some initial success, but not much lately. A screen on second down, and Marcus Peters wraps up DeAndre Hopkins, who's been quiet in this game. Setting up third down for Houston. From the shotgun, here comes a zone blitz. McKenzie finds Washington, and that only gets eight yards. Three and out for Houston as they're forced to punt again. And here's Shane Leckler. Can he pin the Chiefs deep again? This will bounce inside the 10, and it does go into the end zone. So from the 20, the Chiefs try to feed Jamal Charles. They don't want to give it to anybody else. Jamal Charles still out there until he gets a break, and then the Chiefs would stall and get no points. Long possession, but still a four-point Texan lead, and McKenzie hooks up with DeAndre Hopkins in Kansas City territory, and that puts the Texans in long-distance field goal range. And we'll see if McKenzie looks Hopkins way more. There is no bigger playmaker in this passing game than him. On second down, McKenzie hands off to Arian Foster, and he drives ahead for a gain of six. Third and manageable for Houston. McKenzie goes empty. He needs four, and is hit as he throws. Pressured by Alvin Bailey, who forces a Texans fourth down. Here's a second look. He completely overpowered Brandon Brooks. That brings out the field goal unit, and Nick Novak hits a 47-yarder. So it is a seven-point Texan lead. The Chiefs then take over. They get five yards on their first two plays and end up going three and out. From the 41, McKenzie on second down, passes underneath. Here's Jalen Strong, first down Texans, as Strong hauls in his third reception. Time winding down here in the third. Here comes the blitz. McKenzie has to run to his right, and he'll throw back across the field to Foster. It's a first down and more. Foster to the 31 of Kansas City. And the Texans are again in scoring range. Offset eye counter for Foster, who's brought down in the backfield by Mauga for a loss of two. No running success since the first possession. And that sets up a key play. On third and 12, McKenzie throws it up deep, and there's Hopkins for a first down against Sean Smith. DeAndre Hopkins for 20 yards. This is what he brings to the table. The passing game comes through again on third down. Now to the ground, and Arian Foster is wrapped up near the nine as the Texans remain persistent with this ground game. Again, Foster on second down, and another short pickup. That puts the Texans at third and eight from the eight-yard line. Trips left shotgun formation. Flag down, McKenzie lobs, and it's knocked away by Derek Johnson, but there is a flag. Holding on Kansas City. They get Marcus Peters holding. And that's an automatic first down for the Texans. From the four, McKenzie fakes the Foster rolling left. He keeps, and Andy McKenzie has scored his first NFL touchdown. His first touchdown comes on the ground, and it gives the Texans a 17-3 lead. The Chiefs trying to claw their way back here in the fourth quarter, putting together a good possession until the defense comes up with another big turnover. Now we're focused on the clock as the handoff goes to Foster, and he actually gains a few. Third down and three. It's a fake. McKenzie drops it off to Jay Prosh, the fullback, and he picks up a first down. With a new set of downs, the Texans running more clock. Inside two minutes, Foster trying to stretch it outside, and again he loses yardage. Kansas City has two timeouts left. Third and 16. Just a handoff up the middle for Arian Foster, who fights his way for seven, timeout Kansas City. The defense just has to hold on for a little bit longer, and Kareem Jackson picks off Alex Smith to seal the game. Andy McKenzie and the Houston Texans are victorious, as McKenzie wins in his NFL debut. 
against a very good defense, McKenzie had an up and down day, but he came up with big plays and did not turn the ball over. The Chiefs also only sacked him one time. It's also nice when your defense only allows three points. But in the future, we all know this offense has to be more productive. We stalled too many times toward midfield, and we had no ground game. 20 carries for 29 yards for Arian Foster in this game. In the future, we should run the ball more inside and have less of those stretches that obviously got us nowhere. Andy McKenzie had a couple runs, 20 yards and a touchdown, 5 carries because of 3 kneels, so that gets skewed a little bit. 3 catches for DeAndre Hopkins, 3 for Jalen Strong, a sack apiece for Jadavian Clowney and J.J. Watt. This was a great way to begin the season, as the Texans are 1-0, and in Week 2 they'll take on the 0-1 Carolina Panthers. This is another very strong defense. They're led by one of the league's best players, Luke Keekley. And around him, there's a dominant front four. There's Josh Norman on the outside. They have speed at linebacker all three spots. Thomas Davis, Luke Keekley, Shaq Thompson. Week two isn't going to be any easier. And we'll see how Andy McKenzie fares against the Panther defense. Thank you guys for watching this NFL debut of Andy McKenzie here in the Madden 16 Andy McKenzie Career Mode Series. Today's game was a little bit shorter than I would like, and I have upped the quarter length for the future games. We're going to go from 8 to 10, as this game featured about 100 plays, and I want it closer to 120. But the game went well for Andy McKenzie. He did a good job against that pass rush and made some big plays. No turnovers, got the rushing touchdown. We'll see how he builds upon this performance. Please leave your feedback down below in the comment section. How do you think Andy McKenzie did in his NFL debut? And hit that subscribe button for much more Andy McKenzie career mode to come. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.